right guys, we got Sean back. He's here for round two for the kitchen tile. We're excited to see what this is gonna look like. We, we're very confident that this is gonna be much better than the first tile. And Sean gets to show off his skills again. Uh, I mean, what better way to do it than to do it twice? So we appreciate Sean coming on his spare time, which he really has none. So um, here we are on a Saturday morning and Sean's gonna whip this thing out for us today and we're gonna get to see a finished product by the end of the day as what I'm guessing. So we're excited to see that and uh, excited to show you guys Sean whip out our kitchen again. stuff from falling behind the stove and it keeps the stove it has to be able to breathe there's blowers on the back yeah so it can't be Alright guys, we got our last oh, 12, 15 tiles here. Sean's just finishing up. I mean, what a stud. Bang this whole kitchen out, as you can see behind me, I think. See back over here and back behind me over this way. Got the Sounds like he's got plans of getting this grouted today so that we can put the all the covers on, wipe the hood off on the stove so all the dust is off and take some pictures of it when we're done so talk about a productive saturday you almost ready for the last tile celebration there mm -hmm. Sean? Not quite. yeah how did it do on your back this time around not too bad today that's good Everybody, I want to introduce you to my good friend Bethany. Uh, she just relocated this little ivory in the heart of Cambridge and opened in October of 23. And she just had redone this building here. So, mm -hmm. want to talk about some of the projects that sure. you did here? Yeah. Yeah. So when um, my husband Jess and I bought the building, it was um, basically vacant. I feel like for quite a few years. Um, so it was a complete like renovation from. The bottom up basically we had to gut the whole thing um, we added some new stairways and some new entries um, and the only thing that we kept that was original basically is going to be the brick and the ceiling in here mm -hmm. um, but yeah there was definitely a lot of surprises as we were going through the renovations and um, it was you know takes longer than you think it's going to take yeah but it turned out really well so we still have um, the lower level to finish yet. Yes, and upstairs so, you have office spaces up there then as well? Yep, we have, uh, well, there's a leather studio. So mm -hmm. Ashley with Rebel Roots leases two spaces upstairs, a leather studio where she makes all of her leather goods. And then she mm -hmm. also has a retail space upstairs. So she sells um, accessories and clothes and uh, leather bags and wallets and that sort of thing. And then there's a photography studio upstairs. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then an office. So nice. Yeah. yeah. You've done a lot. So yeah. it's a huge passion for me was to open up a home decor, home goods store that taught people how to 
live in their space and love their love the home that they're in currently and um, make it functional. So I can't wait for you to see what we're going to be doing at the house then. And she's going to come over there and um, kind of help me place some of the things that we purchased. Mm -hmm. So it should be fun. Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. Uh, back today I have Bethany coming and she's going to help me with the decor that I purchased at her store Thistle and Ivory in Cambridge. Just kind of take a look and show you what I have here. So this is the living room area. And so you have these gorgeous shelves right here that I'm working with. Uh, some pieces that I'm wanting to keep is this beautiful clock that actually my father got my mother for 25th wedding anniversary. Um, so I'd like to incorporate that piece. Also, got this very fun piece from a friend of ours from church. Actually, his name is Zach. And he actually put this together himself. Uh, really cool piece, really fun. Our first and only housewarming gift actually that we got from someone might not so, be able to fill them all today with what i've purchased and what i have left with doing an estate sale that we did about three years ago i sold all my decor and items come on in but she is here right now Hi. hello bethany how are you good oh good looks like you got some cool got stuff some too <laughs> oh i can't wait i got some out too um I have a whole pile of stuff. I got what I purchased from you, what other decor I have left. I do not have a lot from the estate sale that we had done three years ago. Um, and then I've got these three shelves here in the kitchen. Like a, just a plant on that top shelf over there. Because it's going to get plenty of natural light. Well, All that. Yeah. Let's just say you leave the middle alone and you got and you had a bunch of cookbooks or you yeah. start to find some as you go then put the trailing one at the top there oh gotcha and yep. then find just like a bigger one that you could put on the top over there the other thing too is you could maybe you go down the road and you find like a nice really big serving dish you could add some serving dishes up at the top like mm -hmm. ones that you're only going to put out a couple times a year when you host you know mm -hmm. something like that dried baby's breath which i love to do so you can go get baby's breath from like cup foods Mm -hmm. and then it you just put it in a vase without water or put it with water and then the water just dries it up and they just dry so nice and you can just use them so many places so I think it's cute yeah every time I put them somewhere there you go I don't want to hide your oh, like I like says... the fresh eggs there but yeah. then anything I put in front of it hides the word yeah, if you slide it over a little kind of thing. So yeah, you've got two baskets that you can use. Well, I could put one in the laundry room like you suggested to yeah. put one in to have in the, for catching all the yep. extra nails and screws. Yeah, yeah. When you're <laughs> all the stuff change. that comes out of his pocket. Yeah, when you're cleaning out your um, pockets. Well, I like to tease and say any money is mine. I do too. Actually, <laughs> what I do. All right. So final staging that we have here. Again, we're not able to fill all of them. Um, she's recommending having matching uh, school pictures of the kids, matching frames. So to have Logan and Lola up here with that. Um, this one here you know kind of placing it and having it up there so you can read the sign that's visible behind the coffee cups right here she was suggesting with this nice gold frame to have it right here to have a family picture again this just kind of holds little trinkets and little things that everyone brings down stairs and that they have for holding here um, offsetting it with a circular and then we have our square here which is our electronic um, you know, holder for our kitchen and everything. So you're saying to kind of fill in some more here with some art and some pieces, but getting some height right in there. Um, kind of talked a little bit about 
some of the recommendations of having when we're in the garden season and, and have some stuff with onions and tomatoes and different things. Um, she's talking about, you know, fresh flowers, having it right in here then just for a beautiful touch and um, right in here then too, kind of the essentials and the things that we're, that you're using most of the time, cutting boards, obviously serving spatulas and these are some serving bowls that I use often. I actually got this from her store too. One of them is in the dishwasher, so they're dishwasher safe. But really nice. Uh, they have the pouring spouts then too on them, so they work really well. So I use them quite often, so it's nice to have that right up in here. And just a cute display with the eggs, because of course I have my chickens and stuff. But these are actually little wood eggs that I got at the store. So putting them in there. Um, no, we talked a little bit about adding some plants in through here then as well as we're getting into spring. Um, this is something I got from my parents place and I'm going to be painting it black. You can see it's kind of a brown with a gold and everything. But she was recommending on this uh, piece that we have here. We have a lot of board games and everything that's in there. There's, there's quite a bit of storage. We're not sure if it's a permanent piece. It's just a piece that we had. But she was recommending to do for this look and everything, because this is a very large space we're trying to fill in, is doing a lamp. It's probably about three-fourths of the length of the mirror, you know, so just a little bit shorter than it. So rather large mirror, uh, maybe, uh, excuse me, a very, <laughs> a very large lamp next to the mirror, about three-fourths of the way up, and then also doing like a vase with flowers and everything on there, just adding to the the space and, and filling it in. Um, then we also went over here, and these are some different pieces that we have. So again, using books for a lot of different, it's very deep um, cabinets that I have here, this cabinet display space. So we have it really deep here. So you can see that she really likes to use books for giving different levels in through there, adding some height in different areas. Something's very beautiful. Really liking the way that that is looking. A uh, nice way to incorporate this fun made piece that we have here. Again, with some books displayed. Uh, this is a really cool piece that she has at her stop. So it actually lights up. So it's something I can grab when I'm in the living room. Um, bring it over to the couch with me and have a nice reading light. Um, you know, whether I'm here at night or wanting to be here. Another thing, a basket that I have that she kind of put here. All the electronics, again, just looks pretty functional. Um, adds a little bit of organization. That's right in there. And right in through here to, again, Still need to add more in through here, but have some nice books displayed right in here. Family picture. Again, kind of little knickknacks and storage things that we can put in there. And um, then I have some really nice uh, candle sticks that I had gotten from her place. So again, using the books and adding some little movement there. And then I have that little pottery piece that I have. So we're going to keep working on stuff. She's recommending doing some baskets above here. Again, for storage, maybe to put some photo albums in there or pictures and things like that to have up there. But that's kind of what she was recommending for that space. So again, thank you so much, Bethany, for coming over, hanging out, going over decor and everything. So fun. Uh, to have somebody in my space that really has a, um, an eye for design. All right, guys, thank you for watching today. Jana couldn't be with me today. She's not feeling well, so a few prayers for her to get better would be awesome. Sean, you did another killer job on the kitchen tile for the second round. So I want to thank Sean. Special thank you to Sean from Rock, T Rock Solid Tile and Stone. You killed it again. You banged it out in one day, tile and grout. It turned out perfect. We love it. So, Sean, thank you so much. Uh, Bethany from Thistle and Ivory, um, you have helped Jana turn our house into a home. It feels comfortable in here, and Jana's really excited about organizing our knickknacks and, 
having stuff on the shelves and putting stuff on the walls. So. Um, we're gonna not have a video for a little while here, guys. We're, the next video's coming up. Uh, there's gonna be a little pause. We don't have much going on right now, but um, we're gonna move on to the landscaping, You know, the sidewalks, the outdoor patios, the outdoor kitchen, and all that fun stuff, the grass, the irrigation. We'll be moving on to that in a while, but we're just gonna take a little break and and kind of get our bearings back. So look forward to those videos coming up of us making the outside of the house really pop and with the landscaping. So once again, thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching the video. And always remember, got a caviar taste on a sunfish budget. Take care, guys. Mm -hmm.